Linear has one of the best landing pages I've seen, featuring some great animations. Today, let's explore how to recreate the Hero section's staggered text animation in five simple steps. Step one is generating the markup. I have used Wheat to set up a React app and followed the official docs to set up Tailwind CSS in the project. It is called React Linear App, and when I run the application using npm run dev, you should see the default markup generated by Wheat. However, this is a far cry from Linear's hero section, and hand coding will take a lot of time. Thankfully, we have AI to get us 80% of the way there without all that work. Starting with this mockup in Figma, I used the Builder.io Figma plugin to convert the design into React plus Tailwind CSS code using Visual Copilot. You can find the generated code in the link down below. I'm going to paste it into a hero.tsx file in the project. Include the component in app.jsx and take a look at the browser. We have UI that closely resembles Linear's hero section without having to code anything from scratch. Step two, we add a custom Tailwind animation to slide in the text blocks. To enhance Tailwind's animation capabilities, we modify theme.extend.animation and theme.extend.keyframes in the config file. I've pasted keyframes and animation to save us the time. The code snippet defines a new slide-in animation. The from keyframe starts with the content at opacity zero and slightly above its final position, while the to keyframe completes the animation at opacity one and its final position. This animation lasts one second with ease timing function and a 300 millisecond delay. Apply the animation to each of the four elements representing the hero text in hero.tsx. Since this is a custom animation, we prefix animate followed by the animation name. Let's add this to all the hero text blocks. The second one, third, and finally, fourth. If we take a look at the browser, you can see the animation runs, but all the elements slide in at once. For step three, to create a staggered effect, we introduce different delays for each element by defining three variants of the slide-in animation in Tailwind's config file. So slide-in 300, 500, and 700. The delay is now different. This does introduce code duplication, but we will address that shortly. In the hero component class names, we update to reflect the new animation variants. The first two with 300 slide-in delay, the next one with 500, and the last one with 700. Now our animations stagger beautifully, but there is an issue. The elements are visible before the animation starts. To fix this as step four, add an opacity of zero to ensure they're hidden initially. So after animate slide in, we add opacity zero, which is a Tailwind CSS class. First element, second element, third element, and the fourth element. When I refresh, the staggered effect works perfectly. However, host animation, the hero text elements all disappear. To fix this as step five, we specify animation fill mode for our slide-in animations. So 300 milliseconds, 500 milliseconds, and 700 milliseconds, but we specify forwards so the elements maintain their final keyframe styles. If we go back to the browser, our animations stagger beautifully as expected. Five straightforward steps as you can see. Now we do have a bit of code duplication, so let's optimize our code. We will refactor our custom animations using CSS variables. We introduce a slide-in delay variable with a default value of zero milliseconds. So this is just slide-in. This is a variable called slide-in delay. And by default, let the delay be zero milliseconds. 
we then apply this variable in our hero component classes. So slide in, we use square brackets for arbitrary values. So slide in, delay 300 milliseconds. I'm going to copy this, make sure to update the previous one as well, the one with 500, and finally, 700. If I now refresh, our animation still works as expected, but with no code duplication. And there you have it, a sleek, staggered text animation similar to Linear's landing page achieved using React and Tailwind CSS. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know if you find these videos helpful in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.